Here's how to create an easy beaded wrap bracelet. Find the complete step-by-step -step tutorial on Instructables. You're welcome to substitute the materials you have, but for this bracelet, I'm using Amazonite stone beads in six millimeter round, round leather cord and silk beading cord. Cut a piece of leather cord about 30 inches long and fold it in half. At the midpoint, tie an overhand knot and create a small loop and two tails. Secure the loop to your work surface with tape or use a clipboard. Cut a piece of beading cord about the same length as the leather cord and thread it through the eye of a beading needle. Tie the other end of your beading cord around the left leather cord with a square knot and leave a tail about four inches long. Thread your needle through a bead, then slide the bead all the way to the knotted tail of the beading cord. Then thread the needle underneath the right leather cord and pull the cord to the right while keeping the bead between the two leather cords. Next, reverse the direction of the needle and thread it through the bead again, this time above the right leather cord and then underneath the left cord. Pull the beading cord all the way through until the bead is snugly secured between the two leather cords. The rest of the beads go on just like the first. Snug the beads up close to one another and adjust the cord loops as needed to pull tight. You're essentially creating a figure eight pattern with your needle around the two leather cords, capturing a bead in the process. Continue adding beads until the bracelet reaches your desired length. It's smart to try to keep your beading cord tight as you go, but don't worry if things are looking a little loose. You can snug up your beading cord by using your needle to catch each loop and pull the string tight, starting at the earlier beads and working your way down. To secure the tail of beading cord, thread it around the leather cord in a figure eight pattern, but without any beads this time. Pull it tight while keeping the leather cord symmetrical then thread the needle through the newly created triangle shape opening to cinch down the figure eights. Tie all three tails together in an overhand knot near the last bead and trim the tail of the beading cord only. Then tie a second knot or add a button if you wish with the leather cords a short distance from the first knot. This design looks great as a single wrap or make it extra long and wrap it around your wrist twice or three times. It's easy to make this bracelet your own through choice of materials. Try layering a few of them together and varying the number of wraps. This project is an excerpt from my free Instructables jewelry class, so if you liked it, be sure to check out the other new skills you can learn at the link in the description. Thanks so much for watching, and subscribe for more videos each week about DIY tech, crafts, and my life in New York City.